Hey guys, my name is Saddam Qasim and once again I am back with one of my WordPress based tutorial where I'm gonna show you how you can add Facebook group feeds onto your WordPress website. Promoting your Facebook group on your WordPress website is a great way to boost engagement on your Facebook group. At the same time, it helps you to get more traffic to your website in return. So in this video, we are going to display the post of my Facebook group onto my WordPress website and you can also display the post of the Facebook pages as well. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So that's one of my WordPress website where we are going to display the Facebook feed. So the first step is we need to install and activate the custom Facebook feed plugin by Smush Balloon. The plugin that we are going to use is a premium plugin, but I will show you how you can get that plugin for a huge discounted price later on. So in the Google, we can simply type Facebook feed by Smush Balloon. So at the very top, we can see the custom Facebook feed WordPress plugin. So that's a premium plugin. If we can check the price, let's click on get started. So here you can see $49 every year you have to pay if you buy it directly from the Smush Balloon website. So let's open a new website that is wpscratch.com and from this website you can get the plugins and themes at up to 90% discounted price. So here we can type custom Facebook feed. So the first plugin is custom Facebook feed pro by Smush Balloon. Just click on it and you can see the pricing just 15 bucks and you can use this plugin for lifetime so you don't have to pay every year. And you will also be getting one year of free updates. But remember, WP Scratch do not provide license keys. And we really don't need the license key because it is just to update the plugin. And this website automatically provides you one year of free updates. So whenever a new version is released, you can simply log in into my account on this website and download the latest version, install on your website and activate it. So I have already bought this plugin. Let's close it. And we can go on to the plugins and then click on add new. When you buy the plugin from WP Scratch, that plugin will be downloaded in .zip format onto your computer. So we need to upload that file into our website. So here we can see upload plugin, just click on it, choose file and locate that .zip file onto your computer. So that plugin will be downloaded something like this. It is custom Facebook feed pro and the current version is 3.15.1. So let's click on open and we can install and activate this plugin. Alright, so we can see over here custom Facebook feed pro smash. This plugin has successfully been activated. Now at the very bottom left corner, you can see Facebook feed. Just click on this settings. Alright, so this is a welcome screen of this plugin. Again, click on settings. Here you go. So we can see I had already connected one of my existing account. Let me delete it first. So here, you can see this big button, connect a Facebook account. Once you click on it, it will ask you to display the Facebook page or group feed. So here you need to select whether the post that you are going to embed into your WordPress website, those posts belong to Facebook page or a group. So here I'm going to display the feeds of the Facebook group. Let's click on Facebook group and then click on continue. Now it will redirect you onto the Facebook login page. So you need to log in into your Facebook account. Once you will log in into your Facebook account successfully, you will be seeing a list of all the groups that either you have created or you have signed up onto your Facebook account. So let's say I'm going to embed the post of this Facebook group. Let's click on it and then we can click on use token for this group. Now the next step is we need to add the smash balloon into our Facebook account. So as you can see over here, these are the four steps. Go to your group settings page by clicking here. So let's click on this link. Now it will open the same group that you have selected from the pop-up. So let's scroll down. Here we can see apps. Just click on this edit icon and then scroll down. Click on this add apps and in the search box, we need to type smash balloon. So that is the app. Just click on it and then add. Now this app has also been added into our Facebook account so that all the posts can be synchronized between the Facebook group and the WordPress website through the Smash Balloon app. Now let's go back onto our WordPress website and here we can click on done. Now let's scroll down. Here we have few settings. Is it a group or a page? Make sure group is selected because we have done all the settings for the Facebook group. 
Number of posts to display. The default number of posts are 5. Maximum you can display 100 posts on a WordPress web page. Let's make it 10. Now next is display load more button. So that's up to you if you would like to display the button, make it checked otherwise uncheck. Next option is show different number for mobile. So you can control the number of posts to be displayed onto the mobile devices. Right now I'm just leaving this option as it is. Facebook API post limit. Make sure it is auto. Check for new post. So here you can change the value. The default is one hour. That means the smash balloon plugin will check for a new post every hour onto your Facebook group. Localization is English and here you can select your own time zone. That's all you have to do and then click on save settings and clear catch. Now here we have a short code. You can see here custom Facebook feed. Just copy this short code. And now we can go on to the home page of our website. So that's the home page. Let's click on edit with Elementor. I have created this website with the help of Elementor plugin. Okay. Now let's scroll down and let's say this is the area where I would like to display all the Facebook feeds of my Facebook group. So I can click on this plus. Let's select a section and on the left hand side I can search for short code widget. So that is the short code widget. You can use any short code widget or text editor and in this box I can paste that short code. Click on apply if you are using the website with the help of Elementor page builder and then click on update. Now let's open the front page. So I'm just clicking on it. Let's scroll down. Here you go. So you can see all the Facebook posts are now displaying just below this our programs button. So these are the latest posts that has been shared onto my Facebook group. You can also see the like icon, the share icon or forward icon. Even user can also leave the comments. They can also check this post onto the Facebook and they can share this post. So all these 15 posts are showing right now. So guys, in the same way, you can also display the post of the Facebook pages as well. We have few more settings in this plugin. So let's go back. Now we can go on to the customize. And here you can see there are so many customizations option available. Also, there are sub tabs. So let's click on this post layout tab and we can change the look and feel of these posts which are showing over here. So by default, this is the thumbnail view that is showing onto the home page. Let's change this look and feel. So I'm just going to select this half width and then save changes. Let's refresh the home page. So now we can see the post image is a little bit bigger and it is showing in the 50% half portion of this section. In the same way, you can also select the full width and there are a few more options available. Then click on save changes and we can refresh the home page again. Here you go. So now we can see that is the featured image or I can see the post image and the text is showing at the bottom of this image. So this is how you can use the customization option in order to play with more settings. You can also enable or disable the author name or author name, post tags, description. All the options can be founded under this customize tab. I hope it was easy for you to understand. In case if you have any question, just drop me your comments. I will definitely help you out. If this video was helpful, please like this video and leave your positive comment. Thank you very much.